we got the two girls arriving this morning. This is Hayley and Kayla's first sale. Well, we can count it as the first time. Hey, Lord. Bye. How are you? <laughs> if I love you, but this car's kind of crazy. I've just pulled over because it almost cut out on me. I got a nice little surprise. 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. Oh, man. He just made it. It was just so strong. It was like, it was everything I could to have my composure. That was the gnarliest beach landing I've done in 30 years. With Hurricane Irma, boats tossed. Here we are at this marina. Hi, my name's Colin. I used to be a chief engineer on super yachts, but gave it all up to buy a hurricane damaged Lagoon 450. My friends and I are fixing it up as we go and are determined to circumnavigate the entire planet. So subscribe if you want some inspiration to live life to the fullest. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. So what are you waiting for? Good morning everybody. We got the two girls arriving this morning and we'll pick them up off the beach at around midday. Go get Haley! Oh my god, I'm so excited! Hi! Oh, good to see you! I don't know if you have ability to talk to a captain or marina. We just saw a flare go off at one of the boats out there, and I don't know if someone needs help. Trouble on the horizon! Oh, trouble already! <laughs> Alright, this is the fun part. Yeah. <laughs> my wait for this one. And the next one, probably. Oh, I like you. Then we're a bus. Kayla. Nice to finally you. Oh, thank you. Hi. I'm Kayla. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Make yourself at home. Welcome to Far Lake. So we're leaving Tamarindo. We're going back to Flamingo to hang out with Jeff and Lindsay at the sailing club. This is Hayley and Kayla's first sail. Well, we can count it as the first time. But we've already got the main sail up, regardless. So we're a sailing boat. We're going to do some sailing. Okay, so you can start cranking on the winch. This way. Uh, go the other way. This way. Both girls were eager to learn how to sail, so we wasted no time getting them on the winches. Blake's going to set up the spinnaker, which is a light wind sail. So right now we have light winds. So our audience, these guys, they get a little upset if we don't introduce any new crew. So, Hayley, you want to go first and tell these people who you are? I'm Hayley. I also run a YouTube channel for a lot of sense. And nice plug, straight I mean, off the bat. I know. Straight off the bat. <laughs> uh, so I'm from England, but I'm living in Scotland, uh, in Edinburgh. And how old are you? Uh, I'm 27. I'm basically joined like a bunch of random Facebook groups and uh, one of those was like a sailing Facebook group and I saw Colin's post and so I reached out um, and then we had a couple of WhatsApp FaceTimes and then yeah, flew to Costa Rica. <laughs> My name is Kayla and I'm from Calgary, Alberta. How old are you? I'm 18. <gasps> <laughs> so um, I'm currently solo backpacking right now uh, so I just made my way down and now I'm in Costa Rica for a bit and then hopefully go to Panama next. How do your parents feel about you being <laughs> on parlay? Um, they were really excited for me. They had lots of questions at first, but I just sent them the YouTube channel. You're the youngest crew member we've ever had. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really interested in learning to sail. I also, I love to surf and so I'm working on my surfing. And yeah, just hanging out. There you go. Haley and Kayla. You. One meal that I can cook. Okay, it's a green curry. Just throw everything in, fire it up, and then it's done. So good. <laughs> I honest, mean, honest opinion. No, it's so good. Is that because I'm right there? 
<laughs> oh, George, I wasn't here. So good. <laughs> good job, Kayla. Ready? I think so. You playing? Yeah, I'll play. <laughs> What's this? The sheep. Sheep sheep. Ding! What's this? Hey, uh, Howard. Howard? Hi. Honey sheep. How? Howardy. <laughs> Howl yard. Yay! Yeah. Green line. Is that the main sheet? Yep. How do you say left on a boat? Port. How do you say right on a boat? Starboard. How do you say front of the boat? Uh, bow. How do you say back of the boat? Stab. What is the closest to the wind that we can sail on this boat? How many degrees? When the wind comes almost to our nose how many degrees 30 degrees here's a hard one what's this white and red brief one yeah <laughs> good job good job still some stuff to work on but <laughs> we'll get there crew contact us online and usually want to experience what it's like to live on a boat but it was nice that both of these girls genuinely wanted to learn all about how to sail because i love teaching anyone who's eager to learn so i've done something really stupid I've lost McFly's passport. We need a passport to go from country to country. So we're gonna go to the vet. We're gonna borrow Jeff and Lindsay's car. We'll try to get the gas bottle filled. Go to the bank, run a bunch of errands. So, errands day. Jeff said you gotta start it, try start it, and then let it sit for three minutes, and then start again. <laughs> so we'll see. Woo! Yes, What's that sound? What is this? Brakes are not good. Jeff, I love you, but this car's kind of crazy. The brakes don't work. Hardly. Here we are. We can do the shots and we can even park. All done. Here we go. Dogs are fully vaccinated. So now they're good to go to Mexico. I've just pulled over because it almost cut out on me. I'm um, saying there's a quarter tank. It started spluttering like it's uh, about to cut out. Yeah, I'll try and make it to the next gas station. Oh, there's one up ahead. Okay, we'll, we'll throw some gas in it. Maybe, maybe it's fucking, maybe this gauge is stuck on a quarter. But yeah, I haven't, uh, haven't driven that car for a while. Good luck. <laughs> I can't get anything more than idle out of the car. I'm gonna go put some gas in it, but I don't feel like that's the problem. Holding up a bunch of traffic. Got my hazard lights on. Doing 10 mile an hour. This is not good. Huh. Just put in 10 liters and the uh, fuel gauge didn't go up at all. Maybe that's the problem. It's got oil. It's got oil and it's clean and it's full. It wasn't overheating. Chances of this fixing anything is low. Fuck, brakes. Don't hit the kid on a motorbike. It's fixed! Put the expensive stuff in. Maybe it's having air intake issues. What are you, a mechanic now? <laughs> that's a score. Three days. In Golfita, they said it would take two weeks. So that's a result. We'll come back in three days. Are you riding shotgun now, Fly? Next stop was the bank, where I faintly remembered having a couple hundred dollars in my account, but I had lost my online password, so I hadn't been able to check for years. So, I lived in Costa Rica six years ago. Started a business here, and I was uh, fixing super yachts, just doing like super yacht engineering work up and down the coast of Costa Rica. And I started a bank account, and uh, was using that while I was here. And then I flew to the BVI's and I bought Parlay. So I've just come to the bank that I used to be with to pull out whatever money I had in there. And I got a nice little surprise. Is that a thousand? Yeah. Two thousand? I've lost the bet. Three thousand. Nine, ten. Four thousand. Two hundred and fifty-six. Wait, I took the wrong ten. Yeah, you're going the wrong <laughs> way. Where the hell? Let's celebrate! You! 
1 a.m. in the morning. Yes, it is. Going to which is rock. So we've got about 24 miles to go, and we want to surf today at 5 a.m. And we're meeting Jeff and Lindsay, our friends who own the sailing club behind us. Just getting to Witch's Rock now. It's about 5.20 in the morning. Day has just broken, the sun has come up, and the girls just finished their first night passage. <laughs> it was a nice slow drop to sleep. Beautiful. Very tired. We were looking for you guys, we just didn't see you, but we did see another boat and almost pulled in the wrong bay. It feels like we're in the middle of nowhere. You can't get here by road. I think you can hike like all the way over those bushes there from the main road, but I think it's an absolute mission. So all of these boats over here slowly starting to roll in, but what an absolute pleasure to be out here. Such a cool place. Cool to have Jeff and Lindsay with us as well. They lent us their car yesterday to run a bunch of errands. They've just been so accommodating. After some of us went for a surf, the others went to go to the beach at low tide. But as the tide rose, the waves became much bigger and all of a sudden it became very dangerous for them to try swim back out to the dinghy. So the guys went to the beach and... Uh... Calm down, boys. No, but this isn't funny. The guys went to the beach and uh, the swell picked up and the wind has gone onshore, so it's just really quite unpleasant. And uh, they've come back and um, it looks like they tried to get out to the dinghy, but Haley's hasn't done a lot of time in the water, especially in like big surf and stuff. Oh, shit. Eventually, Jeff saw a small lull in the sets of waves, so he raced in for a dramatic rescue. Oh, fuck. Oh, good job, Jeff. Oh, man. He just made it. I just got the drone up, and Haley looks really uh, quite distraught from what I'm seeing. Now they're high fiving. Happy ending. Good job, Jeff. Jeff's been in Costa Rica for like 20 years. He bought the first ever charter cat um, to Costa Rica called the Blue Dolphin. And uh, he's, so he's been coming out here for 20 years. So he's really experienced. I can tell just by the way he handled that, um, his tender there that he's... Not his first rodeo. Oh, they're having a group hug. Oh, Haley is so sweet. She was a bit out of her element going into the beach then because it was kind of rough when they went in. But now it's just really bad. So we'll see. We'll see how this experience was for her, but I'm sure it's a very eye-opening experience. It can be scary. The ocean's such a powerful, scary thing if you haven't spent much time in it. And the swell and waves today are no joke. Glad she's okay. That's the main thing. Nobody said anything about life threatening on this trip. You ready, Haley? Hi. Oh my gosh, that was some serious shit. We're gonna need some uh, shots of tequila fairly soon. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, that could have been that could have been serious. It got really big. Um, and I was able to touch for the most part and we were going under duck diving waves. And then it just kept coming and I saw the, the current start and I lost my footing as well and I'm holding on to her hand trying to swim. And then <clears throat> It was just so strong. It was like, it was everything I could to have my composure. Plus I'm trying to like hold on to her and make sure she's okay. And like, I kind of lost my breath too on the, like probably like the fifth wave that came in. I kind of saw her and I go, it's okay. We're turning around. We got to go right now. And so then we took three on the head, just getting back to the beach. You did the right thing. You yeah. Back. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, you just ride it, let it, let it take you in. But you know, I was just breathing and she was, I, I could tell like she needed me to have my composure and I'm like, but because I was, <laughs> I was definitely, towards the end, I was definitely feeling, I was like, okay, this could potentially like not be a good situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And Jeff, right now, he just said he was like, that was probably the most sketchy stage I've ever done. I came back and like, I'm gonna have a hellacious uh, bruise right here. My hip came right down on the metal uh, where the seat cover says. Hey, Colin. Yeah. So I have some news. Yeah. So the good news is, is we saved Haley. The bad news is, is the GoPro. The GoPro. Gone? Gone. Yeah, I but it's right here under my hat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See how calm I was then? <laughs> I was like, fuck. Awesome. She's a tough woman. There's, there's tough women everywhere I look. He's a little bit of a dandy. He's a little bit of a pansy. <laughs> but you ladies, you're something serious. Baby, you're a hero. You don't want a British sailor who's happy? <laughs> when his boat's sinking. <laughs> <laughs> True story, true story. I just kept running out of breath. Like, I held my breath for fucking ages. And then I just kept running out of breath and was like, well. <laughs> it's been a bit of yeah. See a life flash before your eyes. Yeah, but it was just blank, so it wasn't very exciting. <laughs> I, I would say that was the gnarliest beach landing I've done in 30 years. That you were close on that last wave and she was hanging yeah. off the back we of the pontoon. You had yeah. like. One second left yeah. before that would have just swamped you. She's been initiated. Thank you, Neptune. We were so Neptune. close. Cheers, Jeff. Yeah. That's kind of nice, right? Yeah. It's a nice little nice. afternoon glow. There you go. Pretty scary stuff. Can't we grew up around that. I'm, I'm from a place near a uh, really gnarly surf beach in New Zealand called Piha Beach. They've got an actual TV show about it called Piha Rescue. And uh, yeah, this stuff happens all the time and, and people drown all the time. It's, it's absolutely no joke. And uh, when there's also a tender, a, a dinghy involved, it's just, well, that was the only way that they were gonna come out anyway. And this beach along this entire coast um, is waves. So it's not like there's this nice calm, calm area that they can go to. So good result. Haley's a bit shaken up. We'll make sure that she's okay. Um, not a very nice experience. She said she genuinely felt like she was going to die. She, she, she thought she was going to drown. Um, she was just getting thrown around in, uh, in the ocean, in water that was above her head. So not very nice, but uh, yeah, some lessons to be learned. It was just unfortunate that the swell picked up like, like it did while we were at walking up the river. But yeah, scary stuff. <laughs>